Hi everybody, how's it going? Just wanted to give you another update today. And then I'm going to go outside and uh, go for a little walk. So how is everybody doing? It's been an exciting couple of days. And I just wanted to bring you up to speed on some of the things that have been going on and some of the things that people have been saying. How are you doing, Ben? Hi, Lori. Hi, Omar. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Denny. So some interesting things have been happening. And uh, I just wanted to uh, bring you guys up to speed. So after the complete botching in their first pass at me to eliminate me, and they came out with this story uh, about how, uh, you know, I had accepted this donation, which everybody knew was completely bogus. And then it found out, uh, and then we found out that he donated under a different name and that the party had accepted his membership and that he'd voted and that all these other things. Um, you know, nobody bought that. And so now they're coming out and they're saying, oh, well, it's not because of this donation. No, no, not at all. Even though he had very strong words about that the other day. He said, this is, this is worse than horrible, uh, horrible ignorance. This is worse than, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, either, you know, a mistake or, or uh, incompetence, all of these things. Now he's saying, uh, no, it wasn't about that at all. It's about a pattern of destructive behavior. And I just want to let you guys uh, in on some of this destructive behavior that was discussed in caucus. So the prime issue that people had with me is that I reach out to my contacts, my supporters like you, and encourage them to get involved. So uh, one MP who I will name, and there will be more MPs to come in, in, in days going on, uh, Martin Shields from Alberta. He's, he said, now, now, Derek, you know, I, I had all my 10 delegates ready to go. And, you know, all of a sudden I'm getting all these delegates who want to go to, to, to convention. I don't even know who they are. And, uh, you know, what, how dare you uh, interfere in my, uh, 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 you know, my, uh, my riding circumstances? Well, I'm sorry if I'm, in, if I'm expanding the base, if I'm encouraging people like you to get involved and go to convention. Like, what arrogance. These people are not, they think that they're little petty princes uh, ruling uh, these little fiefdoms and that uh, no one else can have a say. Listen, if you're a candidate in your riding, you are not the king of your riding. You were elected to serve your membership. If you want to uh, encourage people to be delegates, that's great. But it's not up to you to decide who goes. It's up to the other members in your riding. And if I encourage, if I encouraged, um, you know, X number of people to be involved in ridings around the country, I'm proud of that. If I'm expanding the base, if I'm encouraging people to get involved in, in, in convention, that's a good thing. And yet, this party, these people, are clamping down on me for uh, increasing participation because they don't want you involved. They want you to think that you're involved, but they want you to have a little say at convention. They wanted to have a quiet little convention that nobody knew about, where nothing consequential got passed so that they could go into their election being the liberal light party that Aaron O'Toole wants to be without any repercussion from the base. And when I start saying, hey, let's get some true blue conservatives to come to convention, all of a sudden I get axed. So here's the thing. Some MPs up there are arrogant. They're arrogant and they've been there too long. If I was running this party, I would open up nominations every single time. And it's not that I, there's many MPs that deserve to continue. Politics shouldn't be a career. It should be a brief interlude from a well-lived life doing something useful where you serve your country. You shouldn't just get in there and put your head down and collect your pension uh, 20 years later. You should go there and you should stand up for values. And so many people there care about their pension, they care, care about their careers, and because the leadership protects their nominations so they never get challenged, they just, so long as they go with the flow, uh, they don't get in trouble. Whereas people like me, we get axed. And so I was disgusted to hear some of the arrogant things that I was seeing from uh, some of uh, the, the members of parliament, the conservative MPs in that caucus meeting. It is disgusting. We should all use our influence around this country to promote conservative principles, 
conservative values. And I'm glad, listen, if it's a crime to encourage people like you and other conservatives across the country to actually be involved and have their voice heard at convention, then I'm guilty as charged. And I am sick of the arrogance that we're seeing in Ottawa. This is not, this should not be about a clique of, um, you know, uh, 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 friends in Ottawa who just scratch each other's backs. This should be about people who go there to move, th to move things around and get things done. And all I see is people who just want to ratchet up the years, ratchet up their pension, and have zero accountability to their base. If you're a politician, you're not the king of your riding, you're the servant of your riding. And I'm sick of seeing th this type of attitude that, you know, they're king of the hill, that they, uh, uh, and I'll, I did name at the beginning there, Jason, so the one I'm talking about now is Martin Shields, but I will be naming others as time goes on. And this particular person thought that it was, you know, horrible that he'd already had his 10 d delegates that he wanted to go, you know, groomed and all that. And all of a sudden he had 30 people that wanted to go. Well, listen, if it's, if it's, if it's a bad thing for me to encourage people to get involved, then we might, we might as well go home. This isn't about uh, the few MPs that are sitting in Ottawa. This is about the members, the supporters, the volunteers, and the donors. And I'm sick of the arrogance that seems to think that they can tell the base one thing, and then as soon as they get elected, they can ignore everything they ever told you and do everything else. And that's what we saw uh, with Aaron O'Toole defending me uh, in regards to Theresa Tam, and now he's saying you know, a pattern of destructive behavior. The only thing that happened during my time there in Ottawa is that I reached out to my supporters who happened to be in ridings across the entire country and I've, I've uh, fundraised off you folks. I've asked you to uh, be involved in the campaign and if that's a crime, then I'm guilty as charged. So if you hear, you know, Mr. O'Toole or any of these other people saying a pattern of destructive behavior, this is what was discussed in caucus. And frankly, most people in caucus were enraged at the communication bungling, and they said, listen, Aaron, you better promise us that you go out there and you give a different reason other than this donation, because we cannot sell this to our constituents. This whole thing about the donation is ridiculous, and we have to say something else. And so that's why they're saying something else. So this is all ridiculous. This is a setup. This is a partially a reaction to the, the influence that, that I and people like uh, you and I will have at convention, and secondarily, uh, a, a knee-jerk response to what we're seeing down south and uh, basically having an emotional meltdown and saying, oh my gosh, how do we rid ourselves of any uh, right-wing element in this party? And of course, I was the, the, the perfect sacrifice to offer to a, uh, a media and uh, the Liberal Party who had their knives out. And so they did it. But it's not going to stop with me. Already, on the morning uh, that this happened to me, the Toronto Star was coming out and saying, don't stop with Derek, you know, Pierre Polyev, Michael Cooper, uh, you know, these types of people, they should be next. So here's the thing. Once you give in to left-wing demands and the demands of uh, Justin Trudeau and everything like that, it never ends. It will never end until they got the Conservative Party completely. So if you, um, if you are a member, if you are uh, attending convention, do not quit. This is our party. It is not the party of Aaron O'Toole. And I am proud to be here standing up for people like you and I and putting forward uh, a strong conservative principles to make this country a better place. Thank you so much. God bless you and God bless Canada.